Hello again here. We will use Google Trends. That is an implementation of Google Translate API and we will see how to translate text. Then we will get the available languages that we can use. And finally, how to detect possible mistakes. Okay. The first thing that we need to do is install Google Trans in a PowerShell terminal. Okay. So we type pip install Google Trans, hit enter. Successfully installed. Now we can close the terminal. Here in the code we will do three things. The first thing is translate. The second thing is list supported languages. And then we will list the possible mistakes and possible translations. Okay, so let's go to the first part. The first thing that we need to do is import translator from Google Trans. Then we need to create a translator object. Trans is equals to translator. And then we declare t is equals to trans dot translate. We pass a string to be translated. And for now, we are good just with this. Okay, now let's see what we have here. This t, okay, this t object, we will get the source language, the destination language, and also the translated text. For that, we just need to print t dot source. To get the destination, we just need to print t dot dest and to print the translated text, we just need to print t dot text. Also, you can print the original text. In this case is bom dia in Portuguese. Now we are ready to run our script and see if we get any result. We open the terminal. Let me expand this and we type pi translate dot pi and hit enter. And this is the result. We have the source pt for Portuguese. Destination is en for English. And we have here bom dia and good morning. Close this and let's understand what just happened. Well, the translate method receives two more parameters. The first one is the source, the source language, and the second one is the destination language. By default, destination language is English, and for the source, it will take this string and it will identify the language. In this case, is Portuguese. Because this will not work a hundred percent well, we must must always provide the source parameter. Okay, let's add these two parameters and instead of translate to English, let's translate to German. So the source is PT for Portuguese and the destination is DE for German. Let's open the terminal and run this again. And now we have this result. The source is PT, the destination is DE for German and the result is Bom dia in Portuguese and Guten Morgen for German. Now let's list supported languages and for that we need to import languages from Google Trans and after this we can iterate over this list of dictionaries. Okay, so for that we do for lang in languages we want to print the language and the description of that language. So we print the key of the dictionary and the value of that dictionary. Let's run and see the result. So we open the terminal, let me expand this and we run this again. And now we have here a lot of languages. Okay, These are the supported languages that we can use with this Google Trans module. Okay, Now let's do the final exercise that is list the possible mistakes and the possible translations. Before doing any code, let's go up and change the the string that we want to translate. Okay, let's insert a uh, error D Z Z Z A and insert another text just to see other translations, other possible translations. Bom dia para você. Good morning for you. Okay, and take notice of this object, the result of trans dot translate. Okay, it has another property that we will use, and the property that we will use is t dot extra underscore data. Okay, this is a dictionary and we want to get the possible mistakes. 
Okay, we will call this PM and also we want to get the possible translations. Okay, let's print these. We are printing the possible mistakes, the PM and the possible translations, PT. Let's open the terminal and expand these, run these again. And now we have here this result, the possible mistakes. It identified that it must be dia, bom dia para você, and the possible translations we have here several results we have bom para você and didn't identify anything else okay this is the end don't forget that you can download the source code and see useful links in the description of this video if you find the video helpful please give it a like share with friends it will help me and as always thank you for watching